Hi friends, welcome to Engineering Clinic. Today in this topic we are going to discuss about what are the various recording tools and editing tools for online learning. So this is what we are going to see today. So in this, uh, this video will be published in my YouTube channel. So you can check it with for other videos as well. So what are the different editing tools and what are the different recording tools available in uh, Windows, Macintosh, Android and uh, iOS that's what we are going to see so now for a screen recording so having said that so assume that this uh, this presentation what I am presenting now I have generated using PowerPoint PPT and now recording using uh, my iPad with Apple pencil so this is what I am doing now so the native uh, recorder the native screen recording tool from iPad I am using for recording this entire screen I am using so what are the different tools available for uh, all other operating systems as well so that's what we are going to see in this slide so in windows os in macintosh and in linux ubuntu so we have so many tools available so the main thing is uh, this main focus is mainly on the uh, open source software so obs studio free and open source so we called as open broadcaster software which is free as well as open source so you can uh, limitlessly you can use any number of times uh, without any limitations the same thing is applicable for mac os as well as linux so uh, linux also has obs and mac os also have obs so obs means open broadcaster software next thing is uh, in mac os we have something called as quick time player so which is very native to mac os so wherein you can have video i mean uh, audio recording screen recording and movie recording so all the three options by default enable in quick time player so most of the other softwares are paid starting from 5000 INR and above. So that is how the process in Mac OS. Whereas in Linux OS, since the OS itself is uh, open source and free, so most of the softwares that we are uh, getting are uh, open source only. So like OBS Studio and simple screen recorder. So very simple and powerful uh, screen recorder for Linux. So that this happens uh, in Linux. So simple screen recorder is not suited for Windows as well as Macintosh. Now comes to windows so windows we have so many options so mainly it is completely it is paid softwares only so mostly it is paid except the open source libraries all others are paid so if you see camtasia it's starting from inr 17000 per pc and bandicam rupees 3000 per pc and cam studio uh, it is free but uh, the latest edition was in 2013 almost seven years uh, delayed so that means that all the formats are supported are uh, swf flash format and uh, avi so these are the formats are being supported so Movavi video suit is coming with a rate of 2600 so it has heavy discounted price so it's very good enough so that we can have infographics also within the video in Movavi studio and most other softwares are paid ranging from 3000 and above so these are the different to tools for screen recording in uh, desktop operating systems now in the uh, android and the ios in the handheld devices as you see this device is uh, ipad and I am using iOS operating system, I am using native screen recorder is completely free and very powerful. So it records the value under uh, 1080 pixels, means the video what I am recording now will be of uh, full HD 1080 pixels. Here I am using my own Apple, uh, mm. this come along with an iPhone, so I, I use the same, uh, earphone comes along with iPhone, so that's what I am using now high quality audio you may get, so after the end of this video, so you can get a very high quality audio, but only thing is. Uh, nearby noise should not be there so that uh, the recording will be very perfect in android operating system also we have so many phones they have native screen recorder they mostly they are free but in some android phones the native screen recorder is of pixel 720 pixels so if you are uh, showing such kind of smaller fonts in a presentation or in some written document so these fonts may not be uh, it will be blurry when the audience view the videos in youtube so better to always go with a 1080 pixels that is a full hd format you can go with this so this is what the recommended standard for this full hd again here also you will get high quality output with a good headset or a high earphone if you have a good headset or an earphone you can get a very good quality of the audio recordings so this is for the uh, case of uh, screen rec screen recording so that means that only recording we can do later after we did the recording we go for editing video editing after we get the video so we have to process the video or we have to edit the video in that case again what are the different softwares available again open shot it's free and open source open shot free and open source and open shot free and open source 
so all these three things are free and open source so on all the three operating system we can use this and in windows app there is a something called as photos app it is completely free but the reason uh, here is the photos app does not support various uh, movie formats so that means that uh, it is a restricted set of formats so which is very cumbersome to use this again camtasia comes with the movie editor uh, as well as video editor as well as video recording and movavi again comes with the video editor and most of the softwares are paid with 3000 and above similarly here linux os we have so many things kden live blender pitv so there are so many other uh, softwares available in macintosh we have imovie so which is one of the powerful software that comes along with the macbook as well as ipad ios iphone so everywhere we get imovie which is a very powerful video editing software for time being uh, then most of the softwares again here also it is paid so that's what uh, all the three operating system deals with it when you consider android and ios again ios we have movie editing imovie and uh, again uh, for iphone and ipad we have it and there are so many other apps in the app uh, store with the paid as well as the advertisement versions similarly here filmora and kinemaster so uh, both are free uh, for any duration but there will be a watermark on those things okay watermark so filmora what happens the watermark if you want to remove just inr 130 rupees to remove the filmora uh, watermark so once you remove it you can able to do that again we have some limitations on the file size in other stuffs so that is what in uh, tools for video editing in mobile phones so uh, the recommendation what i suggest to give you is uh, for windows os we can use obs and open shot for uh, open source both are open source if for mac os since all the four are free Ma- open shot i movie quick time and obs all the four we can use any anything for linux os again obs and open shot for android i can uh, recommend for going for native screen recording and store the file to desktop for video editing so that means that after the recording happens so the video editing can be happened with the help of the other softwares for ios we have native screen recording and imovie so that's what uh, very powerful and uh, both are again free so video compression in the sense that uh, after we generate video let's say i get, i get a video of 2 gb size uh, let's say this same presentation if i get it in 2 gb if i want to convert uh, bring down to let's say some 150 mb or something i can do that with the help of the software called as handbrake so this software will do the video compression to any level without the effect of uh, without the loss in the quality of the video so that's how the way it is just processing so 2 gb uh, if you want to upload to any uh, third party you uh, third party video channels it consumes more bandwidth to uh, optimize the bandwidth we can always scale down the file size and then we can use handbrake for that so again handbrake is open source and free so we need video compression for huge video outputs uh, good uh, gives very good compression so for example 1 gb converted to 150 mb and 150 mb converted to 45 mb without the loss in quality of the video so the best recommendation what i suggest is obs open shot and uh, handbrake so these are the three softwares that i can recommend for all the three operating systems for desktop uh, for mobile os we can give native screen native screen recorder software for mobile operating systems so recommended file formats now what are the recommended file formats see uh, in dot movie format is mainly suggested by apple ecosystem and mp4 uh, that will be allotted for all the other operating systems so all others we can go for mp4 so there are other formats as well like wmv wm uh, v format then uh, mkv format so there are so many other formats available but uh, as long as the generic operating system with generic video codecs audio codecs we can uh, the recommendation is using a uh, use of dot mp4 as well as dot movie and similarly the audio codecs for the video will be uh, aac format or h par h.264 so these are the three things most of the players most of the wireless uh, video editors most of the video players they support these formats with the, this audio and video codecs so that's how we are the recommendation is like this and as far as pixels are concerned full hd is recommended for any video but 4k is also fine in nowadays the recent uh, set of phones and other display devices they process for 4k in case if you record a video in 4k it's fine but again there can be scaled down to one uh, full hd uh, if possible using handbrake but some native screen recorder can record up to 720 pixels which is not good for presentation videos as the letters will be noisy noisy or blurry so that is a issue the learners cannot understand what was written so because of this reason i recommend the format as dot mp4 then aac format slash h.264 okay so 